guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a look at a Funko Pop. I've had quite a lot of these recently and I, the reason why is I've been watching too many pop videos and I'm like, ooh, I really like Funko Pops and so I've like been looking for them so that's kind of stupid. But anyways, <clears throat> I have been caught in the trap of actually these little golden pops that have been out at Walmart. Um, I definitely wasn't going to pick any of them up because they are just repaints in gold and I think that that's kind of a cheap move. Um, they are all Walmart exclusives. They came out as a, like, a celebration. I don't know if it was for... I don't know. Maybe... No, I don't know. Yeah, they went along with the gold figure, five point of articulation gold packs. I don't remember what the celebration reason was for it. Um, but yeah, I wasn't going to pick any of these up, and so you're probably like, Nicole, you literally have one in your hand. And that is because I found it at Walmart for $4 on clearance. And I'm like, for $4, I can probably do that. Um, I have some of the figures already just so I didn't want the like Chewbacca and Luke Skywalker for example and then the Jango Fett and I didn't want a repaint of them in gold because it just looks a little bad I don't know I'm not a big fan of that um but I did not have this Darth Maul um and so I'm like well for four dollars I'll go ahead and pick him up and he looks pretty cool even gold um I really do though like the packaging on these Funko Pops I love the gold and black I think it looks fantastic um they he's still the same number series so number nine way early this is an old old sculpt of a Funko Pop back when they did the little superhero pose um but yep so it's shiny foily gold it says number nine and on the back it just says Darth Maul so that's actually still pretty cool I really like the way it looks you can see it on the top here um on the front it's, it's a Walmart exclusive so um my Walmart's definitely got a bunch of these in they had a whole bunch I sorted through to try to find the best box um one complaint I do have if or especially for inbox collectors is I, I don't know why they did it this way but the fold of the box sticks out right here, like, more than normal? I don't know, I thought that the box was more like... I have another figure here. I mean, I guess it's it's always got a little fold in the corner. A seam, mm. but... I don't know, This it just like, it overlaps this other side and it just looks kind of bad to me. Anyways, um, that's enough ranting and raving. Let's go ahead and open the box and I will show you the pop. Okay, so here is Darth Maul out of the packaging. Hopefully he shows up on camera. Um, he's a bobblehead like all of the Star Wars Funko Pops, and you might be able to tell that this one particularly is on Crooked, um, which is kind of annoying. Um, you might, you can fiddle with the spr- <laughs> Erica's sitting next to me and bothering me. She's tapping me on my leg. Um, you can fix the spring. I say that as I can't fix the spring. There we go. To make it a little bit more even, but that of course is the evil within the bobblehead. Um, and this is the old Darth Maul uh, mold, literally, um, just cast in gold. And um, this one doesn't come off the stand, so that kind of sucks. Cast. cast in gold? <laughs> cast in gold! <laughs> it's so expensive. <laughs> it's actually really expensive. No, what? It molded in gold plastic, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, molded in gold plastic, not cast in gold. That's dumb. Um, but yeah, he is stuck to the base, which is kind of lame. I've expressed my opinion on this. Um, but anyways, I think he looks pretty good. I mean, like I said before, I don't have this Darth Maul. And so getting him at least in this gold form is pretty dang cool. Um, I think that they did a good job still making his tattoos and stuff show up because they just carved them out. So now they look like... He kind of looks like a carving, like an, like an idol, like the fertility idol. No, um, but pretty cool. His horns look really, really good. Um, I really like his tunics. This dude is just like broad. He's like Ben Swolo, just like super. Um, but that's just the pose they had him in. And of course, his lightsaber is a little lame when it's when it's cast in gold, um, but it's OK. Nonetheless, it just looks like he's holding a gold stick almost because there's no definition between the red blades and then the, the hilt. But there's not a whole lot to say. I mean, these are kind of cool, especially if you don't have the character already. Like, for instance, me in this Darth Maul. Um, but I also think that the one solid color can show a lot of defects. Mine doesn't really have any defects that I can see, at least. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, though, guys. What do you think about these? Did anybody pick these up? Um, check your Walmarts if you're interested, though. They are $4 on clearance, so I figured for that I could go ahead and pick up this Darth Maul. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos, and as always, have a fantastic day, and see you in the next one. Bye, guys.